friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and you are at the home of the Forever Theater Kid. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? What's your quarantine going like? Mine is a lot of the same crap over and over and over again. I'm sure you all are the same. So I figured I wanted to give you something a little fun. I was inspired by my friend Amy, love it. If you don't follow her on YouTube, I don't know what you're doing with your life, she's great. I felt very inspired. She always wears one of these like really cute headbands. And I was like, I'm gonna be Amy today. She reminded me of a video that I've been wanting to film for a while because she just did a quiz on her Instagram. And I was like, I wanna film some quizzes. Those are fun. So we're doing that. So if you wanna see me do a couple of quizzes, maybe we'll do a Pottermore, because I don't know what house I'm supposed to be in. We're gonna do some Buzzfeed, stagey, musical-y type of quizzes. So I just wanna do all the quizzes today. So if you wanna see anything like that, or me make a fool of myself, please stay tuned. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for all the haps, kids. All the happy haps. I have a TikTok. Have I made one TikTok yet during this quarantine? No, I am resisting it as long as possible. Okay, so we're gonna just start with these quizzes. So I went onto BuzzFeed already, and I just, I think I just typed in Broadway quiz, and this is what's come up. So take this quiz, and we'll reveal which Broadway star you're most like, the hardest Broadway quiz you'll ever take, which Broadway musical should you see based on your zodiac sign. If you get 13 out of 18 on this quiz, you're a theater kid at heart. Start right, with the hardest Broadway quiz you'll ever take. I'm actually nervous. This is already a fail. Well. For sure can't take that one. Okay, so let's do try this one. Take this quiz and we'll reveal which Broadway star you're most like. Cool, pick one. We got margaritas, we got brunch, we got charcuterie, we've got juice. Mmm, -hmm. charcuterie. One show day or two show? Two, I love a two show day. Do you prefer to see a brand new show or a revival? Both are great, new show, revivals, it just depends. New show. Choose a style of dance, jazz, modern, contemporary, ballet. Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, jazz or contemporary, jazz or contemporary, jazz or contemporary, contemporary. Left handed or right handed? Right. All right, choose college, Wesleyan, Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, Juilliard, NYU. Well, I tried to get into NYU and I didn't get in. Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, NYU, why not? Choose a song to play next. I'm here from The Color Purple, Define Gravity from Wicked, My Shot from Hamilton, all of them. <sighs> My Shot, I love that one. Pick a Broadway show to see next. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Mean Girls, Ain't Too Proud, Come From Away. You know what, I'm gonna say Harry Potter and the Cursed Child because I've been doing a virtual play reading this quarantine with Maggie Barra, an actor aesthetic, and I missed last night, and I need to know what happens next. So I want to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. <gasps> I am Cynthia Erivo! You're like Cynthia Erivo. You're beautiful and you're here. I'm saying. Fun, okay. Only musical theater super fans can get 15 out of tw 20 on this character quiz. Let's take it. You got this. Thank you, Hannah Martyr. Sandy Rizzo, Nikki. Sandy Rizzo, Danny Kanicki, Reese. Okay, I guess the show, what they're from. Oh my gosh, this is the hardest thing, guys. Alphaba, Glinda, Ness Rose, Bach, Wicked. Tracy, Link, Penny, Seaweed, Hairspray. Jimmy, Trevor, Dorothy, Muzzy. Ooh. Jimmy, oh Jimmy. Now they're getting harder. It's either Hello Dolly and Thoroughly Mother. Really. We're gonna go thoroughly. Yes! Okay. Roxy, Velma, Billy, Amos. Pouring salt in the wound. Chicago. Okay, Alexander, Eliza, Angelica, Aaron. <laughs> Hamilton. Ellie, Warner, Vivian, Emmett. Ooh, Legally Blind. Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. <laughs> Six. That's amazing. Amazing? Amazing. Mimi, Roger, Mark Collins. Rent. Sophie, Donna, Rose, Tanya. It's Mama Mia. Linus, Lucy, Schroeder, Sally. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. That's such a good musical. Heidi, Jared, Zoe, Connor. Oh. Oh, Dear Evan Hansen. Jean, Cosette, Marius, Fontaine. Le Gage au Faux. Les Mis. Christian, Satine, Harold, Henry. Henri. Moulin Rouge. Christine, Raoul, Meg, Carlotta. This is a joke. Miss Wilkinson, Billy, George, Tony. Okay, all right, I give it to him. I don't know this one. Uh, we're gonna go Billy Elliot. Yes, okay, I thought I thought they were trying to trick me. I was like, Billy Elliot, it wouldn't be Billy Elliot because it's in the name, got it. Janice, Cady, Regina, Damian. Mean Girls. Dewey, Rosalie, Summer, D Tamika. Ooh, Dewey. Dewey, uh, School of Rock. Come on! Effie, Dina, 
Laurel, Curtis, Evie, stop excusing yourself, dream girls. Wow, you got 20 out of 20. I know. And hello, fellow theater nerd. Mm, nice work. You truly know your Broadway characters. Thanks. Guys, I'm like, I'm killing it. I'm slaying this non-existent game. The hardest lyric quiz musical theater lovers will ever take. All right. In sleep, he sang to me. I'm like, come on now. All right, first question. Who cares when, who cares about sleep when you can dance and sing? Snooze in school, dance all day, snooze when you're old. I think it's snooze in school. Yeah, that sounds like it's from Wicked. Yeah. When someone needs a makeover, I simply have to take over. I know, I know. Everywhere he went, he'd use this word and all he would say, it was a clever gent. Oh, totally guessed it. Keep up, uh, keep it up till Christmas, lads. He got, oh, it's from Billy Elliot. Shh, I don't know Billy Elliot. I think it's that one. Oh, for the wretched of the, for the wretched of the earth, there's a flame that never dies. Yes. In New York, you can be in, in New York, you can be a new man. Your last meal on shut your mouth and, shut your mouth and, Loose the tidy white haze. Come on! In sleep he sang to me, in dreams he came. That voice which calls to me and speaks my name. Sherry, Sherry baby, can you come out tonight? Oh damn, which is stupid. I don't know Rocky Horror. I know, I've never seen it. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Snake of a guy. I am a musical theater nerd. I got 9 out of 12. 85%. Thank God. Let's do one more musical theater one. Sorry, you'll only pass this quiz if you're a musical theater kid. Which composer and lyricist has penned the music to Into the Woods Foley's and company? Sondheim. When an actor moves upstage, are they moving closer or further away from the audience? Further away. Who first starred as Jenna on which in Waitress on Broadway? Jesse Mueller. What musical is this from? This Steven Utah stage, baby, let's have fun. Rent. I've sang that musical, that song more in this quarantine than I've sang it in 10 years. So these movies has not been made into a Broadway musical. Oh, bring it on, Ghost, Home Alone. Home Alone, but I'm sure that's not far away. Audra McDonald won her first Tony Award for playing which role? Aaron Ragtime, Marie Christine Leather, Carrie Carousel. We're gonna say Sarah Ragtime. Ah! Audra McDonald won her first of six Tony Awards in 1994. Okay, which actor has starred in all three of these musicals on Broadway? Porgy and Bess, Little Mermaid, Les Mis. Norm Lewis. Norm and I have a very special relationship. Have we ever chatted about it? I used to just like tweet him things that I thought he would think were funny. And then one day he followed me on Twitter. So I kept sending him tweets. Like a couple months ago, I just gotten sent away from an audition. Ugh, everything sucks. And I walk into the elevator and I look up. Norm Lewis is just there in the corner of the elevator. And I just like, held my backpack and I was like, I stood right next to him. He just like looked down at me and I was like, I exited the elevator, I let him pass me. And um, I proceeded to be curious where he was going next and I saw he went into a pub and then I thought to myself, I'm stalking him now. The Phantom's Mask in Phantom of Opera covers which side of his face? <gasps> it's gotta be the one that most people see. That's his stage left, so his right. Finish the lyric, here, take my Kleenex. Wipe that lipstick off, mascara away, lipstick away, mascara off. Oh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna have to guess on this one, y'all. Wipe that lipstick off, nope. Suddenly see more, okay, lipstick away. The lipstick away. Ah, yes. Oh my god, I hate these kinds of questions. How many Tony Awards did the original Broadway production of Hamilton win in 2016? About eight or 11. Wrong, 11. No! Kelly O'Hara won her first Tony Award for which role? Oh, we're gonna say Light in the Piazza. Wrong, King and I. What? She won her first Tony in 2015? That was 2015? How do I feel like King and I just happened? Which one of these is not considered bad luck for the theater community? Saying, mm, -hmm. in the theater. Well, that clearly is. Saying good luck. Not leaving a ghost light on in an empty theater. Saying hi to the ghosts in theater. Not saying hi. Finally, which actor has starred in all four of these musicals on Broadway? Anything goes, Sweeney Todd, Gypsy, Evita. I'm pretty sure that's Patti LaPone. Bernadette, Patti, Angela, <laughs> Angela Lansbury. What an icon. Bette Midler, I think it's Patti. All right, 86%, you are a certified theater kid. Thank God, because that would have been hard on my brand. Absolutely can't get enough of theater. I, I can't, I love it. I really want to see what house I'm in in Harry Potter. What house? 
am I in? <laughs> like what an old person way to type that in. I think Potomar is the way I gotta do it. Oh, I need a passport. Oh my God, does it cost money? Oh my gosh, there's an app? Discover your house. Oh, it feels like so much pressure. Mm. Okay, uh, uh, river or forest? I'm Emily and I love nature. Uh, I don't know why I'm so nervous. Okay, <sighs> I think forest. So the following would you most like to study? Mer people, centaurs, wolverines, vampires, goblins, trolls, ghosts, ghosts. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Cats, toads, owls. Owl. Screech owl. Brown owl. Brown owl is my true identity. <laughs> um, Screech, oh, she cute. Snowy. I like the Trani owl, I think he cute. Oh, barn owl's like, mm, barn owl's sleepy. I choose this barn owl. Troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club if you could? A nearly perfected cure of dragon pox. A student record going back a thousand years. That's such a Hermione thing. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? Smooth, thick, richly purple drink that gives you a delicious smell of chocolates and plums. A foaming, frothing, silver liquid that sparkles as though containing diamond. That looks cute. I think the purple drink sounds yummy. Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ignorant, selfish, ordinary, cowardly. Probably selfish. I would hate that. That would make me sad. Oh God, Sorting Hat is, is ready to make a decision. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Ravenclaw? I'm shook. This, this requires an important phone call. I love you, Eddie. All right, I have important news for you. I think you might More need exciting. to- I think you might need to sit down. I'm kneeling down, why? I took the test, Gabe, and I am in Ravenclaw. What? I know. I, I, I'm on Pottermore. I'm taking the official Pottermore quiz. Yeah, whatever. It's wit, learning, and wisdom. I'm, you're, you're on the video right now. You're the first one I told the news to. Well, now I have to take it. I think you have to take it too. Can I be on the video? Sure, if you want to be. Then we'll do it later when I get home. Okay, all right, love you. Ravenclaw, weird. I what know. I, well, but I'm not. I am. I'm a big nerd. I'm shook. Maybe I'll take a BuzzFeed one because that's, you know, deemed worthy. What's my Hogwarts house zodiac sign combo? Ravenclaw! Damn it! And Pisces. I mean, maybe I am a Ravenclaw. Is that so bad? Is that so bad? Luna Lovegood is dope. So, why am I getting so angry? I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a Ravenclaw. I feel like they're always very like, Ugh. which is how I feel like I am a lot of the time. All right, we're gonna take a pause. When Gabe comes back, we will finish this video and we will close it out. Okay, it's been a couple of hours since I filmed this. Listen, if this doesn't come up Hufflepuff, I reject this test completely. All right. But that's just, just but this saying But like, this is the official. Ten Hogwarts, which pet? Oh, owls, not close. Barn owl, probably. White or black? Uh, black. Starting head is already? That's it? This is the hell of a gonna lose my mind. Yay! Badger power. Or that Hufflepuff has produced the fewest dark wizards of any house at Hogwarts. That's all I need to hear. Done, best house, easy. That was light work, that was nothing. Not a withdrawn nerd. <laughs> I love my Ravenclaw wife. Well friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a couple of laughs, a little bit of escapism, and and just some good old theater fun. I, in no means is this video meant to like take away from how scary the world is right now and how much seriousness there really is going on out there. As people are really struggling, fighting for their lives in hospitals. We have medical workers, delivery truck, grocery store workers, mail carriers, so, so many people working diligently to bring us some normalcy, to keep us safe, to keep us healthy. It really takes a lot to get out of this sadness that I feel, and sometimes just thinking of a funny little video can help. I know just filming this helped me for a little bit, so I hope that you watching this gave you a little bit of joy, and because you deserve to have a little bit of joy in all this crazy, hectic, Ness. Would please subscribe to my channel, 
share this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it is hit that bell notification so you know every single time I upload and if you're interested go follow me on Instagram because I got covers over there I go live and sing for you over there to give you another little bit of time both of us some time to just escape from all this freaking craziness so I love you stay strong stay safe stay healthy six feet apart social distance please 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 listen listen to the guidelines of what professionals tell us to do because they know what we're talking about not other people if you want a little bit more of a binge moment these videos will be good for you too bye friend